Hello everyone, it's Sandra here and as promised, I've taken worms out of both my buy the book bin and my leaf mold as bedding bin only uh, to compare them. These worms are from the same stock, so they've both been in operation for the same amount of time. Not saying these worms are the same age, but the bins have been in operation the same amount of time. So uh, now I don't know if you want to take a guess which is which, but the one with the plus signs on it, this is the bin that I used only leaf mold as bedding. This bin over here, I used only cardboard as bedding. This um, leaf mold only bin got one helping of worm chow, uh, but the other bin um, had uh, um, cornmeal at one stage in its life. So, you know, they otherwise were treated the same. So let's uh, pick up one of these worms and just take a look at each of them. I'll try to just gently pick up one of these worms. This one here is going for a ride. So there we go. So this is from my cardboard um, only bedding bin. You can easily see the striations, um, the um, stripes. Sometimes this is why these worms are called tiger worms, I believe. So they've got stripes the full length of them. This worm, I actually don't see a pronounced clitellum on this worm. So, um, of course, it's crawling around my hand, so it's hard to see. But, um, oh, there, there it is, I guess. Yeah, there's a bulge there by the head. Um, they're trying to bolt for the exits. Oh, I might as well take this one that's already volunteering because he's going over the edge. Come on. I'll grab my little pick. And um, I've misted these containers down. These worms are not dry, but they obviously don't like this light. So I will put them out of their misery very soon. So this is the one from the leaf mold only bedding bin. I can see the stripes as well. Maybe not quite as pronounced. I don't think this is quite as mature a worm. Interesting, um, just uh, you know, from a distance, the two containers definitely looks like this container has a more ruby, uh, dark red pronounced coloration to the worms than these worms. So I wish I knew how to um, give a more professional explanation of why uh, the coloration is different in these two worms other than just you know pigment in the leaves gets passed through the um, the gut of the worm and is reflected uh, permanently or perhaps what we're seeing is a reflection of foodstuffs that are in the guts of these worms. We know that castings that come out of a, of a cardboard only bin are a medium brownish color, whereas castings that come out of a leaf mold only bin are uh, um, that dark rich black, or if you feed any leaves at all to your bin, you tend to get blacker castings. So it's very interesting. Uh, there's a there's a, a worm with a distinct clitellum. That worm right there. Moving along, I'm I'm just going to try to see the same on this side to see a worm with a distinct clitellum rather than pick worms that. So there's one right there. So here's a worm right on this side with a distinct clitellum, and here's a worm over here with a distinct clitellum. Definitely. Definitely this one has got a wider girth. That may or may not mean anything. It could be a maturity thing. But um, this one, definitely the stripes are visible. Lighter coloration. This one, deeply purple. Wow, that's actually a deeply purple worm with that raised clitellum there. So 
I'm going to return these worms to their cardboard, sorry for the dirty fingernails, um, cardboard only uh, worm bin then. And these worms, I baited them out. There's still tons of worms in the leaf mold only bedding, but I did bait out quite a few of the worms and I'll just quickly show you. Here's the tub uh, that I use for baiting. I've been rinsing off the worms into it so you can see the, uh, the excess water that I'll be in, adding to Peekaboo. Peekaboo's been maturing some bedding for the last few weeks. So all these worms that are in this pumpkin mixture and the remnants of the leaf mold bedding, they are all now going to go into Peekaboo. So we're starting Peekaboo up as a worm bin. All right, that's my comparison. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.